What's up everybody? So you guys know that my favorite food in the entire world is Thai food. I ordered from Grab the other night from a place here in Manila where I found the most authentic Pakrapao I've had outside of Thailand. This is what I'm showing you today. Let's go. As I told you guys earlier, uh, favorite dish in the entire world, Mu Pak Krapao. You guys know Thai food is my favorite food in the entire world. I ordered from here off of Grab the other night. The name of this place is Krapao. I kid you not, it is the best Pak Krapao outside of, that I've had outside of Thailand, anywhere else in the world. I ordered two orders of this because I love this so much the other night through Grab. And I just came in. And I'm over in their Poblacion branch, so you guys are aware they have three branches, one in Moa, one in Poblacion, one in BGC. Literally when she was making this in the back there, we both choked from the amount of chilies that are on this, because you guys know I like spicy food. Now, I would highly recommend that you do not order what I've ordered here, uh, but if you want to try Pak Kapal for the first time, come here. It's the most authentic outside of Thailand that I've had. Just ask for it, my prick, which means no spice to it. I've ordered a bunch of dishes to show you guys here. Some of you guys have been asking me where to find specific dishes, Thai dishes, here in Manila. I'm not gonna give you a recommendation if I don't know, so I'm trying some stuff here for you guys. Let's just jump right in to this back rapau. The amount of chilies in this are insane. There we go, we got a little bit of everything all mixed up here. Oh, it's got heat to it. Hey, it's 100% on me. I asked them, make it as spicy as you can possibly make it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add even more to it. So this is a uh, Piquenum Blanc. And what that is, it's just a Thai fish sauce and it's got a bunch of chilies on it. When I ordered this through Grab the other night, I asked for it extra spicy wasn't all that spicy. So when I came in the day, I was like, yeah, let's really make this spicy. It's hitting on another level with, even in Thailand. Even when you try and go full fed ma in Thailand, you don't normally find them this spicy. The Nam makes a world of difference in it. Gives it a whole nother level of flavor to it. And one of the things that makes the Mu Pak Kapal is the actual use of Thai holy basil which you don't find outside of Thailand all that often, but they use genuine Thai holy basil and it makes all the difference in the world. Literally the greatest thing you'll ever eat. Awesome. You set it right down there. Oh boy, we got more food coming in. Pagapal is unbelievable. I try it in every country I go to. You never find it like you do in Thailand. This is the closest. Easily. Delicious. This is their song dum, which is a papaya salad. There, it's going to be ground down. There's going to be little tiny shrimps in here. It's covered with peanuts. There's vegetables all mixed into it. Uh, it covers every flavor profile like Thai food usually does. It's going to be salty, it's going to be sour, it's going to have a little bit of sweet to us, it's going to be spicy. Just super refreshing, all around beautiful taste of salad. Mm. The next one we're going to do here, this is the Pad Siu. I ordered this one because I've had somebody, I don't know, remember if it was on YouTube, whether it was on threads, where it was, somebody was asking me where to find the best one in Manila. And I'm like, I have no idea because I don't eat it that often. I've had it a few times before in my life. It's not something that I order every time I see it, but I wanted to try it. So if it's good, we can let you guys know and come here and try it. So you got a ton of vegetables in here. You have these fried down noodles that are coming with it. You're dealing with uh, oyster sauce and fish sauce, uh, dark soy sauce. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I've never done this before. But the owner here told me, and just so you're aware, the owner is a Filipino. He just loves Thai food. 
and he spent a lot of time in Thailand. But he just told me with this particular dish, you're supposed to take a spice vinegar, which would be a cinnamon here in the Philippines. I do not remember the Thai name of this. And he said, just try it with a little bit of the vinegar. So that's what we're going to do first. Piece of egg, piece of chicken. Surprisingly, the spice vinegar works fantastic with it. And I wasn't expecting that with Thai food, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised because when you use cinnamon on anything here in the Philippines, it works fantastic. Get all those chilies up inside of there. Now we're getting some of these noodles up here. And he told me what I should do next. Is then throw sriracha on it. But actual Thai sriracha. Not the rooster brand that you get out of the US. Oh wow. 100% transparent here. Just the noodles, the eggs, and the chicken on its own. This has changed up the dish entirely because by themselves, it's tasty. Nothing to lose your mind over. You mix the spice vinegar in there and the shiracha, changes the whole thing up. Flavor profiles become something altogether different. This is why I never use chopsticks for noodle dishes. Now we don't have a problem. Bad see you. It's definitely worth checking out. Take uh, Reggie, the owner's advice here. Throw a little bit of the spice vinegar on it, throw a little bit of the sriracha on it. It changes the flavor profiles entirely. It's awesome. Next thing we're doing here, this is a Northern Thai staple. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest, I've never had this outside of Thailand. And I, this is beef, and I've only had a beef version of this one other time. The day that I had the beef version when I was just in Thailand recently, I had been eating chicken cow soy at multiple locations uh, throughout the day. So the beef kind of threw me off. So this is going to be interesting to try it. Because what happens with cow soy, uh, usually the proteins are cooked down in the broth. So what happens is the broth takes on the flavor of whatever the protein is being cooked in. So here we go. To find it outside of Thailand, where it actually has good flavor, is really surprising to me. Because it, it is fantastic. The most important things with a cow soy is how is the curry paste made up. And this tastes as if it's, it's homemade. This does not taste like a pre-processed curry paste. What you would normally have when you get cow soy is uh, condiment sides. So you'd have lime, onions, uh, pickled vegetables, things like that. We'll put it in to the cow soy yourself. Here they add it directly into the bowl for you so you don't have to worry about how much should be mixed into it. All the pickled vegetables within the dish, they do them all homemade right here. So the one place that I've done beef cow soy at in Chiang Mai is a place called Mei Mani. Mei Mani is a big gourmand, Michelin big gourmand establishment. This beef cow soy is right on par with what I had at Mei Mani. You know who's really gonna like this? I am gonna pack some of this up and take home to him. I think she's gonna love this. Great bouncy texture to the noodles. Oh, that is nice. Last thing I'm doing here. One of my favorite desserts in the world. So not only is Thai food in general my favorite cuisine, probably my favorite dessert as well. This is a mango sticky rice. Here at Kapao, they do a version of this. You have three different sticky rices on here. You have a pandan, 
you have a blue butterfly pea and a hibiscus. And then you get a little side of coconut milk here. And you're gonna drizzle it all over the top of everything. And I don't worry about using up all that coconut milk because it's just awesome. So I'm gonna try this blue butterfly pea because I've never done this with all the, the different rices before. So here we go. It's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. The mango is nice and fresh. Sticky rice is perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sit here and eat every bit of this. Fantastic. That's it, we're wrapping up here. Just quickly, let's go over to Bill here. Give you a couple of them. Mupa Kropao, 325, Pad CU, 410. Uh, thai East Teas, 165, total on everything. 2,112 pesos for the entire bill right there. We're gonna start wrapping this up. I wanna take just a second here. I wanna thank all these guys you see back behind me here. This is Reggie, the owner, the staff. These guys are amazing. They lit my mouth up with chilies inside of here, but that's it. We're gonna wrap this video up. You guys be sure to tune in next week. See what else I get up to.